penises. Pussy lips. For a woman to demand a man pay for a first date and to open the car door and to be chivalrous and to get think, down on one knee. I don't think women to, started that. Men, men do that for themselves. Like men love that. Men, women love bowing. They fucking love no, to bow. They, don't. they love it. Puts men, them into their natural no, no, feminine. No. It puts them into their Listen, femininity. Trust no, me, ladies, no. try the fucking bow. You'll this, be like, Woo, I like the shit. God damn, I, I tapped into something I didn't know was there. I've been so masculine for these 20 plus years. I've been mas... No, men okay, started listen, protecting listen, and listen, providing. Listen. Wait. The caffeine is kicking in. Okay, men started protecting and providing forever. They've been doing that because they like to. It wasn't like one day a woman was like, I need you to do this. So oh, wait, hold on. Women are sexual selectors. Mm -hmm. So if guys weren't like up to the up to par, women would reject, reject them, them romantically yeah. and sexually. So it's like it's no. like it takes two to tango. No, men did not just they haven't been oppressed right, and let, felt let, like they on. needed wait, to do it. Hold on, this. men haven't been oppressed all on. We can get no. into that. But hold on. In hold that on, area. Wait, uh, You're that. interrupting hey, me. Hold on, let me just make let me make a quick point. He does. Okay, that. say your point. <laughs> no. Make your point. Men do that because they want to. And women will do very selfless acts because they want to. Maybe bow, even. But when you operate from a place of this is how I want to be served, all I'm thinking about is how I can be served and my experience and how other people will benefit me. To engage in that is enabling and honestly, Enabling no, what? It's enabling, enabling selfish, what? It is like behavior. it is such a sweeter feeling if a woman just does those kinds yes, of submissive things without you asking. Oh, they do that. It shit. probably makes Trust you me. feel yeah. so good. Yeah, I but rather, like if, yes, I don't want to teach like you how woman, to be submissive. Preferably. If a woman just like bowed to you, okay, like you're in a relationship and she just like bowed to you, you never brought it up in conversation. Like, I bet you that would that would feel so much better than you having to ask her and she's maybe just well, doing yes. it because you asked her to do it rather than her wanting to do it. Well, one, bowing's just not really commonplace in the West, but yeah, I mean, I want a girl to just get it in the same way that y'all want men to just get it when it comes to, you don't wanna teach a man how to talk to you. You don't wanna teach a man how to be confident. You don't wanna, you certainly don't wanna teach a man how to fuck you. You want a man to just know how to fuck you. Mm -hmm. To bring it into, sorry, uh, earmuffs for the two virgins here. Okay. Oh <laughs> like in a, in a marriage, like you naturally take on those roles that are, and it's unspoken. You just you do it out of love, and the right person brings that out of you. Like it's not like yeah, I don't want We sit down, have a conversation. You're I can gonna... teach a woman though. I'll teach her how to be submissive. Sure. I'll teach her how to be submissive. <laughs> Shouldn't have to teach her. It's kind how of more it? natural. I don't know how it's enabling though. Because it's just not loving behavior. How it's is not it something isn't. that's, it's not a norm. Wait, what, what so wait, the bow or the man wanting the bow is not loving? The man requiring the What's bow. What's going on in Canada, dude? Canada is cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, real. <laughs> Honestly, real. Um, I, don't, I don't know how else I'm supposed to make my argument if you're just I not accepting. I don't think you can. <laughs> it's just selfish behavior and it doesn't go very far when we What do you let me ask you a question. What do you want men to do for you? Nothing? You have no expectations whatsoever. No, I think when a man is rooted in like the same values that I have, they will want my experience to be better better. They will be considering my You're experience. Christian, right? Yeah. What denomination? Uh like non denom. Non-denom. Evangelical-ish. Okay. Do you think women can be clergy? Um, wh what is clergy? That's not... It's like pr pa pastor? Do you think a woman can be a priest or a pastor? Um, I'm just trying to understand... I'm, I'm not making an argument. I'm just trying to understand your Christian worldview. I think they could. I don't necessarily know if they should. I mean, are your Christian values really that strong if you're basically, I mean, that's basically a heresy. I, but keep in mind, I'm not even that particular. They could. Well, I'm, not, a, I'm not even religious, but my understanding of the Christian doctrine is that women are not allowed to be clergy. So you're basically, you're, you're like kind of treating Christianity like a buffet. 
Uh, no, definitely not. Well, you said you're non-denominational. Yeah. So it's like you're just go off. It's the a Bible. heresy. How? It's heretical. If the look, what, Why, what, I'm not what saying I agree. I'm not saying I agree with it or disagree with it. But okay. if for if this could be applicable to if if it was the case in Islam, for example, but if in the Christian faith it says that women are not allowed to be uh, priests or clergy, whatever it is, but you're saying yes, they can. How are you not a heretic? I said I'm sure they could, but I don't think they should. Oh, okay. Well, that, <laughs> that is exactly what I said. <laughs> okay, but so your worldview on dating is a Christian worldview. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, do you believe, for example, under a Christian worldview, that it goes something like this? Jesus, husband, wife. Yeah. Okay. And then children under, correct? I guess, yeah. Well, that is that your view? Nick, can you pull up that umbrella thing? Yeah. You've pulled it up before. That's not an order I of don't importance. That, yeah, no, no, exactly. no, no, no. It, it talks about, in the Bible, when it talks about marriage, a wife is to put God first and then her husband and then her children. For a husband, God first, then his wife, then his children. It's not like this... Um, this uh like uh what am i hierarchy yeah hierarchy it's not a hierarchy uh, like from an outside view of okay the husband's more important than wife the husband and wife are both to put god first and then their spouse and then the children well i'm not nick can you pull it up it's not that the husband is more important than the wife the husband is the head of a household I would need to probably let me see if andrew's available i don't know if he is it's also just I don't think very beneficial to focus on the like law necessarily like it really is. The Bible is very love. clear about submission for women. Um, so if we're looking at it from that standpoint. Do you have it, Nick? Yeah. So uh, Christ, husband, wife, children. That's a biblical order of the family. Do you agree with this from or disagree? From Reddit. Yeah, I agree with it. But again, that's not in terms of value. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm making a value argument. I need to see a Bible having, verse. If, if we're having a conversation about submission. That's a picture. It says, wives submit to your husbands. That's the biblical order. That's the biblical order. It says, according according wives Reddit. submit to your no, husbands. No, according, and according. Oh, my God. According to Reddit. According to Reddit. To Reddit. Like, according according to the Christian worldview. Yes, I'm saying, if you would let me finish, Go ahead. Brian. She's the one wives interrupting. Go ahead. submit to your husbands, yes. and husbands love your wives like Christ loved the church. Yes. Christ loved the church so perfectly and selfless, selflessly. Mm -hmm. And so if your husband is acting in a way that does not glorify God and is in a way that is deeply rooted in himself and his flesh, then we go back to God, not to him. Yep. What did, what did it say? Tell wives to love? So is there... Their husband's what? ass? What? Could you repeat what it said? Tell wives to love their husband's ass? Oh, yeah. As Christ loved the church. I thought that was how husbands, no, husbands should love their wives. Love the how wife. should wives love their husbands? There's, oh, it says just says women cool. submit to your husbands. I don't think, I don't think there's anything there. Wife. There's nothing in what you've just said that would preclude a woman from bowing to a husband or preclude a husband from desiring a bow because from his wife. He's There's thinking about himself. If God is first in your life, sure. If he's not, no, I'm not bowing. Wait, you what? guys are making two different arguments. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. You're not on the same team. Um, it's, <laughs> it, it precludes you from that because you're not acting in a way that Christ loved the church. Did Christ walk around being like, bow, bitches? Like, he was literally <laughs> so selfless, so humble. I'm not, I'm sort of failing to hear an argument though. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Can we go to the next There also weren't Honestly, motor, yeah, there also we were not on, motor vehicles. We should move on. We should in, move the, on. in the time of Jesus Christ, there were also not motor vehicles. Yeah, but. Should a husband not own a motor vehicle? I don't vehicle? think a like, woman what? ever said, open oh, the car wow. door for me. A man would have just done that and he was being selfless. And so that's why it's it. And I don't think a woman is ever like, you must open the car door. Again, men do that because they love it. Let's be so for real. Men don't do it because they're like, oh, here I am going to be a slave for her again. If they are, don't do it. That's awful. That's just as self seeking. We should definitely get a call in later on from Andrew. 
tactical soap from Grondike Soap Company, a game changer in men's grooming. Crafted with natural pheromones, it's designed to elevate your alpha status, masculinity, attractiveness, and charisma. Each bar is meticulously formulated to invigorate your sense and leave you feeling confident and irresistible. Unleash your true potential with tactical soap and command attention wherever you